if you're looking at the ground, you'll see, sorry, I got a dog here. Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Down in front. Get, tubers, tubers. I love you too, but you gotta move. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> So we have done a lot of steps here. First we, uh, what do we do first? First we marked the trail, and then we cleared the trail, then we put the cribbing material down, then we raked it, then we did one cut to set the line, we did a second cut to start moving the fill down to the cribbing, we did a third which really leveled it all out, and then we did a fourth finishing cut to ensure that our slope and all the magic that we wanted to, from a water perspective was happening. So now the last stage here, after we've done the actual bench cutting, there is the finishing. And this is the part that will uh, elevate you from a mere um, average trail builder to a, um, a tra trail builder extraordinaire. Uh, so uh, as we can see here, this is where our, our line is, okay? Um, this is where our cut line is. And you can see each hoe strike. You can see the hoe strikes, okay? So this, this is not natural. This is not naturally occurring. If you look at this up here, you'll see none of this smoothness, which um, actually can also tell you the soil type. Um, the more sheen you get to it, the more clay you're gonna have into it. This soil has a bit of clay, um, but not too much. It's definitely not um, gray and, and all clay. But you can see all those hoe strikes, okay? Um, which is a little garish. Uh, you can see here, I've got this right angle in here. It's fine, no one's gonna complain, but um, what we want is no one to even notice. Uh, and so we're gonna do two things, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hard rake and we're gonna pull it down over all of these hose strikes. So again, you can see those hose strikes and we're just gonna do this. And it just makes those hose strikes disappear, okay? Look at that, beautiful. Again, what we're doing here is we're trying to make this trail that we're building look like it's been here all along and that they are people are just noticing it now for the first time and then we had this spot here where there was the strike so we're gonna drag this across and we're gonna blend it in like that look at that it's all but gone it looks very natural okay and if you want you can pack it in a little bit if you feel like you pulled too much sometimes the slope is a little loose um, the soil type is a little loose so you can just pack it in a little bit so you don't have it all gathering now you can see it looks much more blended all right, now the next thing we're gonna do, and this is really um, the, what we're, the elevates people, is we're gonna take all this stuff that was up here and we're gonna pull it down, not down under the tread, but we're gonna pull it down, okay? We're gonna pull it down and we're gonna do this, just gently pull it down like an artist. We're using a paintbrush, we're gonna use this rake. And we're gonna pull it down and it's gonna, come all the way down here like this and blend it in blend it in blend like a Photoshop tool blend and look at that now that whole back slope is really much more I mean you can still see it for the discerning eye like you and I we can still see it but look at that it's looking way more natural blended on the right side but you'll notice we have this unsightliness on the left side that is the next step um, so we've done that, the upslope side, beautiful stuff, good work team. A lot of people are gonna be like, all right, I'm done. Um, but don't be like those people. Rise above, be the best trail builder you can be. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk downhill here and we're gonna take all the shit that we raked down there and we're gonna throw it up and cover this stuff. And then it's gonna look so blended, uh, it's gonna be like dynamite. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I guess I'm just excited, sorry. It might be a little much. Look how, you know, blended it's, it looks. It really looks like it's much more part of the environment than when you leave that uncovered and you leave that uncovered, it just sticks out. It like basically doubles the width. This way we narrow it and it'll actually narrow more because what will end up happening is, you know, cyclists will come through here, hikers will come through here and they'll stick to the, the center part of the trail usually, unless, you know, they're like waiting the outside or the inside 
depending on the curve contour of the trail um, but so even narrow even more and the leaves will come in even more uh, so there you go um, you are basically done your steps unless you want it like it this depends on where you are and what your situation is here in Toronto what we do is after you know in, until we're ready to unveil the entire trail I am going to cover this up with a rake so using a rake I'm going to rake all this stuff up and I'm going to use it because I don't want anybody discovering this trail until it's completely done it's 100 walkable but it's really hard to notice one other hot tip i'm going to give you is uh walk this as often as you can so that when it's time to open it it's already been packed down because uh, sometimes freshly uh built trails haven't been packed down just walking it um you know as you're going toing and froing from one section to the next uh you know especially walking on that cribbing line it's just going to help pack everything down real nice yeah, so if you follow these steps, uh, your bench cut should last for years and years. It should bring you uh, a whole bunch of joy and anyone who's using it. So I hope you learned something from watching this and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, um, uh, please let me know. And again, don't forget to, what do they say? Like and subscribe. Uh, thanks.